Dr. Phil and Nikki Glazer. Give it up. <laughs> Growing up, our next guest parents had a dream of owning a successful clothing store. These sisters watched as their mom and dad struggled to make it work. Then when they were old enough, they stepped in to help out. Together with the use of TikTok, there you go, Dr. Phil, everyone's on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> These women were able to completely turn the business around. Now they're running one of the most successful quinceanera stores in the country. They're a perfect pair to celebrate as part of Small Business Week. From Moda 2000, welcome sisters Gypsy and Chelsea, y'all. So welcome to the show, meet everybody. Hi. Hi. She might whisper she loves you in a minute. Yeah. Um, it's a thing. Um, but before, before we talk about um, your store, can you explain what a quinceanera is for people that don't know? Yeah. I do, but go ahead. So a quinceanera is this huge tradition in the Latinx community where we celebrate a coming of age for a 14-year-old girl becoming 15, and she's introduced into womanhood. So it's like this huge party. It becomes practically like a wedding with like 200, 400 guests. It's like over the top, huge what? a huge party. I love it. Um, so when your parents started the business, it wasn't geared toward quinceaneras, right? No, so our parents came to the US when they were very young, 18, around 18. And so they worked normal jobs, save up money, and then they started their business together, which was a woman's boutique that sold tops, they sold bottoms, dresses to like go out clubbing and uh, events like, like that. like AC Slater in there, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so they started the business together and then, you know, fast forward some years, my cousin was turning 15 and so she asked my mom to buy her her dress. So my mom went to the place where, you know, it was like the hub for quinceaneras, you would find all your quince stuff there and so she noticed that they were all on display, but there was like signs everywhere, like do not touch, like don't take pictures, you can't try on. And so it felt kind of like, well, her clients were able to try on these like tops and jeans, so why can't a 14-year-old girl try on this like beautiful gown for her day? So my mom ends up buying three dresses, and so my cousin was able to pick one out of the three, and so the other two, she ended up displaying them for sale, and so eventually like people started asking like, well, do you have this in this color or like this size? And so that's that's where how it happened. How it, yeah, that's how it happened. Oh, I yeah. love that, by doing something beautiful for someone. I love that. So, well, it's a, it's a great concept, but you say your parents still struggled financially. It's hard to have a business like yeah. that. Yeah, so our parents, um, they have basically had to start all over like a business. Their original clientele was more so aimed for like 25-year-olds, 30-year-olds, and now they were a whole new clientele, which was 15-year-olds. And so they, you know, they had to borrow a lot of money to make money, and they got into huge debt. And then we actually ended up selling our home back in 2015, wow. and we moved into the, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, no, this is a whole family thing that happens. Struggle yeah. happens. And then y'all came in. Yeah, we moved into the store, and we lived there for three years. You moved into the store? Into our mm -hmm. business, yeah. Okay, okay. So that had to be hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you're good. Don't, you're, look at this, look at this. I cry all the time. Oh, it's here. It's here and ready for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like me and Gypsy came in. I mean, we had no other choice. We were there 24 seven. Yeah. So we were like, okay, like, you know, we're gonna help them out. We saw how passionate my parents were. Yeah. And so we came in, I came in more so like the system side and everything, it was crazy. My parents did everything on paper. And so like, it really didn't, it wasn't sustainable for us to like grow with everything on paper. They're like rocking a Rolodex. Yeah. Like a Rolodex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we would be looking for contracts for like hours and we couldn't find it. And so I came in with like a computer system. Gypsy came in with TikTok, of course. TikTok. <laughs> and it just, we posted a video and it went viral. And then the ball started rolling. I love that though. You know what's cool about your family is that all families go through, mine especially, um, financially speaking, you go through hard times, but I love that y'all pulled together in that moment and you just leaned in and you're like, all right, well, this is where we are. Yeah. Like, that's really cool and it's hard. Um, what, what about, this impresses y'all. They're so young too, to be doing such a cool thing and turning things around for their family. I, it's very innovative. It's passion. Yeah. I mean, they find something they're passionate about and just go all in, man. That's cool. Yeah. I'm intimidated. <laughs> you, know, like, you guys are really, like, I feel like you should be like, hi, sharks. Like, I'm like getting a vibe. Like, yeah, I'm, um, that's so cool. And I just think it's really neat. I love the idea of a quinceanera because it, it seems like the only way you get to dress like that is if you find a man to marry you. And it's like, that shouldn't be the only time that you get to be a princess for the day. And I love that you give that opportunity to, to girls. It's, yeah. it's just fun. And especially like the whole like 
sign of like becoming a woman. It's a thing that should be celebrated. Yeah. It's it's very cool. I think it's cool. So you don't just sell dresses though, right? You give you give some away as well, right? Yeah. So because we have a huge like platform on social media, we do a lot of giveaways, and so we do these giveaways to give these dresses to girls who maybe wish they had a quinceanera, but unfortunately can't financially have one. That's awesome though that you do that for people that wouldn't be able to have that moment because mm -hmm. every everybody should be able to have that special special moment, especially for a woman, like a, a girl becoming a woman. That's a big thing, you yeah. know? For us emotionally, physically, there's a lot going on. So it's it's very cool. It's way better than just getting your period. And being like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is it? <laughs> All right, so we know you're looking to continue growing uh, Moto 2000 and even open a second store, which is exciting. So in honor of Small Business Week, we are giving you $5,000 to help out. Oh, my God.